we have the ability to create proposals here on the right hand side. Now below, let's show all of the proposals that have been submitted to this gig here. The first thing that we'll want to do is go into our gigs controller and in our show action, say at proposals, it goes find the gig, which is right here, get the proposals, and we'll put it in the order that it was created in. Created at descending. Now if we go to our show page, we can bring it right here. So let's see where this is. Let's see where this one ends. Right here. Let's say if proposals are present, let's end that. Let's, you know, let's put an else in here because there will be an else. Do this. At proposals. To each to proposal. And then here, actually, let's do a div. Class equals. Put it in its own panel. And let's give it a heading. Bring this down. Class. Give it its own row. All right. And then class equals. Give it its own column here, or column of four. Three, and we can keep that all on one panel of title. This equals proposal dot username dot user dot name. Let's just see how that looks right now. Undefined method name. Ah, uh, you know what? Sometimes I think some of these do not, they're not attached to a user yet. All right, so we've got this bottom part right here. And actually, you know what? We need to put it in its own here. Get another div here. Put it in its own 12 column here. All right. So there's this if statement here. Let's just merge this all over and give it another H3 here of subheading proposals. Let's separate these out. Go in here, do a refresh. There you go. This is what I want it to be. And here we're going to have all of our proposal information. So it's got three proposals here, it looks like. All right, so we've got this part. And then we've got our div, closing it out. Let's add in another div right here. Actually, let's do it one more up. Class equals column in the four. This is going to be our we have to do another h3 here class equals see panel title as the same above here and you know what I'm going to separate that out number to 
currently proposal dot bid and like all of mine I'm going to precision zero it. So let's just save that, do a refresh. Bid is a hundred dollars. And some of these don't have them, which is okay for now. And so let's just take this because we're going to have another column for here. Copy paste it. And it's the bid here. We're going to say post it when they post this bid. So get the proposal, create it at strf time. We've seen this before. So here. Save it, do a refresh, posted June 2nd. Perfect. So this HD is done. One. Let's create another div right here. And put that in the body. Close the description. Two weeks. Eleven, ten dollars right here. So that's the description of our bid. And then we'll have we'll have that for now. So we'll see all the bids here. We'll have the user who bid on it. And actually, let's actually. Um, Put a div, another div right here actually. We need the footer part. So panel footer. Let's create a form for add gig. A put method. So we're just going to post or do an update. And that so what I want to put here, let me just see what this looks like right here. F submit award proposal. Quick save. All right, so this is how I want it to be. Right now it's not functional, but essentially if I create a new bid here, let's just do another one of $1,000. Hello submit proposal you'll see that that comes way up top here and the bid should, should be saving so I'm wondering why that's not saving you know what maybe because we put the ampersand uh, or the dollar sign on there testing ah it is so we'll have to fix that later but there you have it we have all of our proposals right here. If our users, if our bids were connected to a user, the username would show up right here. But because we haven't done that yet, it's not showing up. And then we'll want to add some validation here to show that they always have to put in a bid and have to put in a description. So we'll add in some validations there. But this is what we want it to be. All right. In the next lesson, we'll allow the owner of this gig to click on award proposal. And once they award a, a proposal, it'll come up on top of or above this proposals section right here saying that this is the proposal that was awarded.